This is my DC powered swamp cooler running off of two 135 watt solar panels. That is a DC marine sump pump, 12 volt, to a radiator car fan, it's 12 volt as well. This is just a standard swamp cooler. I took all the guts out and put in my DC components because it's going to be run off a bank of DC batteries. So I basically took out the existing AC motor which was rotten anyway and the um, existing AC pump. I have two switches here, one for the pump that turns the water on and one that controls the fan separately. And I bought the beat up old swamp cooler uh, from someone in the desert. It was uh, basically just laying there, I picked it up for about 50 bucks, painted the grill cover. I also installed a DC voltage variable speed switch. I can control the speed of the fan using it. These fans can be a little bit noisy, so once the house is cooled, you can turn the fan down so it's not it's not bugging you with noise. This is all coming out of a uh, out of a grommet up here. 12 volt, 10 gauge wire down to a uh, DC battery, and the thing keeping the battery charged are these solar panels over here. These are two 135 watt solar panels. I have them wired in series, right there. I have them wired in series which doubles the voltage. So right now, these are coming into a charge controller. Basically this charge controller is regulating the voltage coming in from these two solar panels. So right now the solar panels wired in series are making... Incoming is about 35 volts right now. It's in the absorbing mode. And the out, it's pushing 14.4 volts into the batteries right now. And you can tell the, uh, you can see the incoming amperage and the outgoing amperage. The mode that it's in. It has uh, a data logging feature so that you can go back and see how uh, the different days performed. I don't know if you can see that very well with the reflection going on. This wire right here is coming in from the solar array and this is the uh, negative coming in from the solar array. 
and these are the two outgoing connections the positive and the negative and this is going out to the DC battery over here right here and right here and I also have the connection going up to the swamp cooler right here and here and the solar array and the charge controller are making sure that this DC battery, this deep cell battery is charged all the time without letting it get below 25% of its charging capacity which will um, degrade your battery faster and shorten its life <clears throat> I have to say, this unit really blows cold and I got this, uh, the designs for this, this swamp cooler online from a guy named Jim and I believe offhand his website is livingsolar.com or livingsolar.net and he had some uh, design plans in PDF format on how to make a DC powered swamp cooler basically just taking an AC swamp cooler ripping out the guts or leaving the guts in and converting it to run off a battery bank so this is going to be a perfect solution for my cabin and actually instead of two solar panels I'll have six in line for about 810 watts I'm going to wire them three in series two sets of three in series for, for about uh, 53, 54 volts, and then I'm going to wire those two series in parallel to increase the amperage. And I'm just going to basically stress test this for the rest of the day and let it continue to run and um, make sure there's no problems before I go ahead and actually install it at the cabin in Wonder Valley. Putting out about uh, 1500 CFM. Well, it's about a third of what a full powered swamp cooler would put out. But for a 480 foot square cabin, it's going to be fine, I think. Especially with all of our insulation and roof coatings and things like that to keep it, um, keep the temperature down. All painted, ready to install. I painted it bright white because uh, bright white reflects the sun. I didn't want it to absorb, especially a unit that was actually, um, whose sole purpose was to cool the house. I didn't want it absorbing heat. So I painted it bright white for that reason. <clears throat> 